Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover adapter design button implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch adapter design button introduction and adapter design button class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Okay. Now we will see adapter design button implementation. Uh, first, I will explain the scenario where we can use uh, adapter design pattern. So in the right side, you can see third party building system and the left side, you can see existing HR system, which is client. Uh, this both systems are incompatible systems. Okay. How it is incompatible? We will see now. So here you can see third party building system has uh, one method called process salary and uh, uh, the parameter is uh, our list of uh, employee. Okay. Uh, so if you want to uh, process the salary, then you have to pass uh, array list of employee. Okay. So what this uh, method will do is uh, it will iterate uh, this employee list and get each employee and calculate each employee salary and uh, deposit uh, the employee salary in their bank account. Okay. That is what this method will do. Okay. <coughs> and uh, left side you can see a uh, HR system uh, which has uh, employee information in a, uh, in a string array format okay but uh, uh, this third party building system accept uh, employee information as a array list right so if uh, hr system wants to process uh, their salary uh, then hr system cannot make call to this third party building system right because uh, this process salary method won't accept uh, employee string array right and uh, now the problem is this uh, existing HR system also don't want to change the code and uh, this third party billing system also don't want to change the code. So how will how we can uh, make uh, this incompatible system work together. So only solution is adapter. Okay. So we have to introduce adapter in between this existing HR system and the third party billing system then uh, this HR system make call to the adapter passing the employee information as a string array okay then what this adapter will do is it will uh, it will read this uh, employee information uh, string array and uh, it will formulate employee object and uh, it will make array list of uh, employees and pass it to this uh, process salary method okay so in this way we can uh, we can make uh, this incompatible interface working together right so that uh, so in this scenario we can use adapter uh, design pattern okay so this is a scenario uh, we can see how we can uh, implement uh, we can next we can see the class diagram of uh, this scenario okay Okay, uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which I have uh, just explained and uh, we can implement adapter design pattern in two ways. Uh, one way is uh, object adapter way and uh, second way is uh, class adapter way and I have uh, created this class diagram using uh, class adapter way. Okay, and uh, if you see this scenario the important uh, class is employee, right? So I have created employee class which has uh, employee ID name and designation attributes and it has uh, setter and getter method for employee ID name and designation. Suppose if you want to create employee object then you have to call uh, this constructor employee and it accept employee ID name and designation. Okay. And <coughs> left side you can see HR system and it has uh, employee information as a string array. Right. So I have created a human resource system class and it has uh, get employees uh, method and if you call this method it will return uh, employee information as a string array okay and uh, right side you can see third party building system and it has uh, process salary method right so I have created a third party building system class and it has a process salary method okay it accept uh, array list of uh, employee okay here uh, this third party building system is a adoptee okay and uh, this uh, two systems are incompatible so to make it work together uh, we have to introduce adapter right 
so I have introduced an employee adapter here okay and this employee adapter uh, class implements the iTarget interface and this iTarget interface has uh, process company salary method and uh, uh, which accept uh, string array okay and uh, this method is uh, implemented by the employee adapter class you can see here process company salary what this method does is uh, it will read the string array and uh, it will populate the uh, array list of employee and uh, call the process salary method okay and here the key point is so we uh, here i have put together this class diagram using class adapter way right so here the key point is this employee adapter implements uh, i target interface and it extends or inherit this third party billing system okay so once you inherit this third party billing system uh, from this uh, process company salary method you can uh, just call the method right uh, we can just call the super class uh, method okay so that is the key point you can see here it uh, inherits uh, all uh, properties from the adopting okay that is a key point in class adapter uh, way okay uh, okay now uh, we will see uh, uh, the code in eclipse i will open eclipse and uh, show you the code okay i have uh, opened this uh, code in eclipse uh, now we will see the code so here uh, important class is uh, employee class right so we'll open employee.java so here you can see employee.java and it has uh, employee id name designation and uh, getter and setter method for uh, employee id name and designation that you can see here right and it has uh, employee constructor I have to pass employee ID name and designation uh, to construct the employee object okay and uh, next class is uh, third-party building system it has uh, process salary method which accept uh, array list of employee okay and I will open uh, third-party building system Java and here you can see uh, process salary method which accept employee list so what this uh, method does is it will iterate uh, employee list and get each employee and it will uh, check what is the designation of that employee and based on the designation it will uh, credit the salary so if uh, employee is a team leader it will credit uh, 70,000 uh, rupees uh, to their account if uh, the employee is a developer then it will credit 40,000 rupees to their account if employee is a tester then you will credit 30,000 rupees to their account okay and uh, next uh, class is uh, human resource uh, system okay so you'll open uh, human resource system java and it has uh, get employees uh, method uh, it has uh, in employee information as a string array right and it has a main method uh, so this uh, hr system will call the adapter so we have uh, employee adapter which implements the itarget right i will open itarget uh, dot java <coughs> so here you can see itarget uh, interface it has uh, process company salary method which is subtract method which uh, accept uh, string array right you can see here and uh, this itarget is uh, implemented by the employee adapter and uh, uh, this employee adapter uh, class will provide implementation of process company salary method so what this method does is uh, it will uh, it will get uh, employee information uh, as a string array and uh, it will formulate the uh, employee list array list of uh, employee okay so after formulating the employee list it calls a process salary method okay and uh, here uh, we have implemented uh, this adapter design pattern using the class adapter way right so in class adapter way the key point is uh, the adapter class implements i target interface and it will inherit the adaptee so in this case adaptee is third party building system so it inherit uh, this uh, third party building system uh, class and uh, um, 
this process salary method also it will inherit because the employee adapter inherits uh, this third party billing system uh, class right so automatically uh, the employee adapter uh, object can access the process salary method which is inherited from the third party billing system right so that is a key point in the class adapter way so you can see it extends third party billing system okay and once the conver uh, conversion is over uh, it will just call the process salary method which is inherited from the adoptee which is nothing but the third party billing system right okay i will uh, just run this uh, program and i will show you the output so here is the output so hr system uh, passes the employee string array to the adapter then what adapter does is uh, it converted uh, uh, array of employee to the array list of employee this is the array list uh, it created and uh, then call the process salary method which is uh, inherited from the third party billing system for processing the employee salary okay and uh, the process salary method uh, will do like this what it will do is uh, it will uh, identify uh, each employee and uh, based on the designation it will credit the salary so you can see for team leader it credited 70000 rupees for developer it credited 40000 rupees and uh, again this uh, raj person also a developer so it credited 40000 rupees and uh, this rahul he is a tester so it credited uh, 30000 rupees okay and uh, this is the example of uh, adapter design pattern i will open the class diagram again okay now uh, i think you understand adapter design pattern implementation using uh, class adapter way and uh, i have put together all this sample code in my blog called ram j2e you can just visit this site and uh, get the sample code and this is about adapter design pattern implementation uh, using uh, class adapter way and thanks for watching bye